Hey everyone, Judy Dang here. Experts on call today is with the biz diva, Cynthia Riggs. Welcome, Cynthia. Hey, I'm so glad to be here, Judy. Thanks so much for having me. Yay. Yay. Okay, Cynthia Riggs, biz diva. She has been in business for over 40 years. So I wanted to get her take on what is she seeing in the landscape right now during pandemic? What is the business scene for women business owners right now? Okay. Well, you know, it's a broad topic, women business owners, but what, what, I, what I'll relate to is in the terms of that having been self-employed for so long, you know, like this is not my first rodeo, right? And what I, my, my overarching sense of things is that we will all get through this. There will be some losses and there'll be some opportunities. Okay. So that's just my generic feeling about uh -huh. What's going on right now? In terms of, of women in business, I think that it probably breaks down along the lines of that, you know, <laughs> your relationship with your business is what it is, and that probably is, gu is guiding the process of what you are doing right now, okay? And, and one, one differentiation that I make is that um, a lot of solopreneurs have a practice, like they have a hands-on or a specific thing that they do um, that's, that's, that I call fee for service. You know, that you, you put your hands on somebody, you touch somebody, you cut their hair, you do whatever you do, and you get money. So I believe those people are struggling quite a bit right now because there's no ability to touch your clients in whichever way you're touching them. I think people who have a product are probably doing better. Um, because there's not so much uh, constraint on your ability to continue selling, right? Um, and again, if, if you have employees and you've been able to take advantage of the PPP um, opportunity and the idle opportunity, you know, you've bought yourself some time, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm going to say that that time is going to run out and probably we're, we're not going to be back to where everybody would like to be. My opinion is that many of us are going to have to make some hard choices. Um, you know, it's the things that we could get away with in, quote, good times. Right. Um, probably not so much when the, the rubber sort of hits this road, right? Yep, for sure. Um, so, you know, I, I, my, I guess, advice, if I was going to offer mm -hmm. it, is, uh, you know, I, I'm supporting people to look to the future and not okay. get too bogged down in the moment because the moment is what is, and yay, we're mm. all aware of that. However, this is going to shift and transform and become something different, and it might mm. not look like what it looked like when we started this, but we have to have a little imagination in place to, to really be thinking about, you know, when the world starts opening back up, how are we going to be poised and ready for action? I, I believe that if you wait to think about it when the time comes, you're going to be behind the curve. Mm -hmm. So don't wait. Use your imagination to look to the future. Yeah. Mm. Contemplate mm -hmm. what's possible. You know, it, it, again, I, I don't think many of us are going to have exactly the same business that we had going into this. And you know, some of us have a lot more time on our hands than we typically do. And one of the, the one of my recommendations is that you spend some time, uh, you know, painting a picture of of what different you want to do, what what you want your business to look like, mm -hmm. what you might be, how you might be showing up in a different way. Mm -hmm. so. And you help you help women business owners with that, right? To help them I do. paint the picture with going yeah. forward. Wow. Yeah. yeah. To not get bogged down by um, you know, I, I think I think one of the main learnings I've had over the years of being entrepreneurial is yeah. that not having my head in the sand was probably um, the best thing I ever did for myself because uh -huh. it allowed me to be quick on my feet when something uh -huh. bad happened or something challenging happened or something yeah. difficult happened. You know, I I personally think that that's part of what supports success is that you don't go down the rabbit hole. You know, I mean, maybe you have a few minutes in the rabbit hole because, you know, right. sometimes it's pretty shocking, you know. Yes. Um, but we, we, we step back up pretty quickly and start, you know, moving forward with whatever resources we have. Got it. Okay. Right. 
Yeah, super. So don't wait. Ask what's possible. Get our heads out of the sand most of the time. <laughs> most yeah. of the time. Uh, do you help people, do you help women pivot to maybe something new? I don't know that pivoting is what it's all about. You know, there's a lot of talk in the world about pivoting, not pivoting, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I think that for some people, again, you know, I was telling somebody this the other day that, you know, having been entrepreneurial for so long, the world is very different now. The entrepreneurial world is not the same that I came mm -hmm. up in, right? It's sort of like now anybody can be an entrepreneur and anybody can hang out a shingle and anybody can, you know, claim that, right? And that's not good or not bad. It's just very different um, than yeah. back in the day when you used to typically had resources. You know, you had to have time, energy, and money to, to actually figure out what you were going to do. But, you know, the internet has really shifted the world um, of business. And so that said, you know, I think that People who are all into their business because they take it very seriously, it's, it's how they support themselves, they've got a foundation, you know, they're going to be in a very different place than people who are less business oriented and have mm. less um, business acumen. You know, it's just a fact. I mean, it's not yeah. good, not bad. Okay. Right. So, you know, my recommendation is that, you know, for those, for those people who, you know, they love their business, they love what they do, and they know that the business stuff has been put on their back burner. It's like yeah. now time to ramp it up. Yeah. You know, I, I was talking with a woman who responded to my, my newsletter who met me a couple of years ago and we've never had any contact and we had a great conversation and she's a, a very successful photographer. And what she was talking about was that, you know, she's always known in the back of, of her head that uh -huh. she quote should be, you know, doing these businessy things, but you know, it was always about, you know, the next gig and making uh -huh. the money and doing, yeah. doing the, the clients. Yep. And she has made a, a, she is, it's really, I'm so, I'm so um, enjoying getting to know her because she has made the commitment that during this downtime, when she has really virtually no work, she's going to put her ducks in order. She's going to put her house uh -huh. in order. You know, she uh -huh. wants retirement. She wants savings. Uh -huh. She wants to have a different quality of life, even though she's had a quote successful business. Uh -huh. um, she sees where her foundation is really shaky. Uh -huh. And you are so uh, experienced with that, uh, with the business acumen side of, of business, especially for women who are uh, healers, coaches, consultants who are givers and, they, they don't want to focus on the business side because that's Correct. Not, like, what, why they went into business, right? But Correct. You, and and, you and I think that's that. that's part of the shift is that I think there weren't that meant, it, it wasn't accessible. And I don't even know why, you know, but again, like having, having been on this, this um, entrepreneurial path for such a long time, the, the players have changed tremendously over the years. You know, I mean, like back in the day, there was hardly any women in business, really, mm. to tell you the honest mm. truth, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I, th I think that my secret sauce is that, you know, I, the, I'm the best fit for somebody who already has a level of success in their business. You know, I'm not so good with startups and people who are really trying to find their way. There's right. other people who are much better at, su at supporting um, that path. Mm -hmm. um, but when, you, when, you, when you've already got a certain thing happening, your business mm -hmm. is moving along, and you have this recognition or this realization that, oh, you know, you need to put some stakes in the ground, you need to really mm. get this business foundation happening, um, that, that's, where I, that's where I'm a that's, really excellent yeah. partner. That's yeah. your secret sauce. All right, folks. If that's you, not so much a startup, but someone who's established wants to put a stake in the ground, build a solid, solid foundation, bizdiva. Dot com. Yes, it lists these. Amazing. I want to see your clipboard. <laughs> my, my whiteboard. Yeah, is that right? It makes me happy. I, I appreciate being listened to and heard. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, 40 plus years, Cynthia, there's so much wisdom and expertise. You've been through the, you've been to several rodeos. I have. <laughs> Thank and we you. all come out stronger. I, uh, that, yeah. Well, I mean, not everybody. Some people are going to go down the tubes. It's just, it is the reality. But okay. those of us who, who are standing strong, we'll, we will come out better for all of this. And, you know, you're building muscles. You're, you're building your survival muscles. You're building your business muscles. And um, you do get better at it. So, mm. yay. Yes. 
So there's going to be more and, rodeos for us. And <laughs> you're the best trainer for those rodeos. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Cynthia. Really appreciate it. It's my it. pleasure. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.